All right, so here we are, Eclipse 2017. We're running a live stream, 360 live stream on Facebook. Using that little guy, I've got a 360 time lapse going over there. There's another time lapse running from the corner of the yard. You can't really tell in this video, in the sun at least. It's already starting to get sort of eaten uh, into the disk of the sun. It's about 9:27 right now. Here we have our faithful eclipse observers, Emma and Gabe. Emma, I, what's the report? What's the status? I, sun is coming up, and then I'm in <laughs> a little bit. All right. Thank you for that. Gabe, what's the status? What's the report? What do you got going on here? Music time. It's music time? Yeah. What are you listening to? Kirby. Kirby? What's this box in your lap? What? What's this box in your lap? Uh, it's a pinhole viewer. Yeah? Have you been able to see any, any, if you hold it up, can you see the part of the sun that's eclipsed already? Well, this. The holes, they're kind of squarish because I poked them out with a screwdriver. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, what do we have What do we have down here? What's this thing? Um, that is a multi-pin... That is a multi-pin hole noodle right. which is actually just... It's a draining bowl for noodles. So we're trying to... We're yeah. trying to get the... Yeah, we're trying to mimic the eclipse. We're trying to observe it from as many different ways as we can. Yeah. All right. Thanks for your report. We'll check back in later when the eclipse has uh, gotten stronger. One thing we have noticed, I hear birds cawing. I don't know if that's them reacting to the eclipse. It started to get a little bit cooler over the last 15 minutes, which is uh, interesting. The sun is already starting to be covered up and we're told we should expect it to get pretty cool. Um, you know, the temperature drops as the solar radiation stops. So yeah. we'll check back in later. Oh, it's a full crescent. Okay, it is about uh, 10 o'clock, a little bit before 10 o'clock, so we're maybe 25 minutes away from as close to totality as we're going to get. We're doing our live stream here. What's the update on the uh, pinhole viewers, Gabe? Can you come show that? Yeah. I'm going to show it on video. John Gould well, just gave an explanation of that. This looks like it has a spike made of grass coming Okay, just, just one second. Okay, so what are we looking at here, Gabe? What is this? So... This is, well, it kind of looks like a, this is a colander. Yeah, it's just and, got a bunch of little holes in it. Yeah. But if you look, let me see if I can pan down here on the video. So you can see, I'll get up close. Those are little tiny crescents. Yeah. So this is a, the pinhole viewer effect, right? So what are we yeah. looking at, Gabe? So, we'll, so exactly, it's exactly my theory from earlier. Which is what? Explain it for the camera. So, for this camera. Okay. Hold on, I need to get my chart. There's a chart, everybody. I made it last night. It's just a rough draft. So, the light from the sun... Hold on, hold on. So, the light from the sun comes through the hole and then projects an image on the, on the bottom. But, and the moon hasn't gone there yet. And then, if we move this, the moon in front of the sun, blocking some of the light, the light comes here and is reversed into a, backward, into a backwards crescent than what it is in the actual eclipse. So it looks that way, it, it works that way because the light travels in straight lines, right? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for explaining that, Gabe. Oh, sorry. I was gonna give an introduction. We're wrapping up our eclipse viewing. I just wanted to get final thoughts and impressions from Rachel. How was it? It was everything I hoped it would be and more. Ooh. Changed my life. N well, no, it was awesome. <laughs> what was unexpected about it? Um, the temperature. In it got really cool. It got cooled off. Um, just seeing, it was different than sunset. Like, you know, the lighting going down. Yeah. And sunrise going the light going up is different it was different than that just a little bit yeah the quality of the light was different it it was it didn't so we were in 99.4 percent of the eclipse we yeah. weren't in the center line of the totality right it didn't get near as dark as i thought it would yeah i thought, I thought it would get, get a lot darker for 99.4 percent yeah me too and i had read that like you know that even tiny fraction of a percent makes a difference yeah 
Um, it really does. So yeah, but it still was amazing. I just like watching the process. Yeah, the process was totally amazing, and just hanging out here with my friends and talking about science stuff. Yeah, it was really cool. All right, well, thanks. Um, I feel like I'm doing an interview now. Like. Next Signing time. off now for KGW News, this is Josh Bancroft in Beaverton, Oregon. Next time this happens, I'll be 80-something years old. All right, we'll come back then. We'll do more videos. Okay. All right, <laughs> thanks.